Welcome to this captivating audiobook dedicated to the timeless and poetic world of William Shakespeare's sonnets. These enduring masterpieces of English literature, penned by the bard himself, have stood the test of time and continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, transcending centuries and cultures. Shakespeare's sonnets are a treasure trove of emotions, thoughts, and reflections that delve deep into the human soul. Comprising 154 sonnets, this collection explores themes of love, beauty, time, mortality, and the complexities of human relationships. They provide a profound glimpse into the complexities of the human experience, offering readers and listeners a mirror to their own innermost feelings and desires. The beauty of Shakespeare's sonnets lies not only in their lyrical language but also in their ability to evoke powerful emotions. Each sonnet is a miniature masterpiece, a carefully crafted expression of love, desire, jealousy, and the ever-elusive nature of time. As you listen to these sonnets, you'll find yourself transported to an era of eloquence and poetic brilliance, where words are woven into exquisite tapestries of meaning. Shakespeare's exploration of love is a central theme in these sonnets. From the ecstasy of passionate infatuation to the agony of unrequited love, his words resonate with the complexities and contradictions of the human heart. Whether you are a romantic at heart or a curious soul seeking to understand the depths of human emotions, these sonnets offer a profound and enriching experience. Moreover, the sheer diversity of Shakespeare's sonnets is astonishing. Some are addressed to a mysterious and captivating, dark lady, while others celebrate the beauty of a young man, and yet more contemplate the passage of time and the inevitability of death. This variety ensures that there is a sonnet for every mood every occasion, and every facet of the human experience. As you embark on this auditory journey through Shakespeare's sonnets, prepare to be enraptured by the eloquence of the language, the depth of the emotions, and the timeless relevance of these verses. Whether you are a Shakespearean scholar, a poetry enthusiast, or simply someone in search of beauty and wisdom in words, these sonnets are sure to captivate your heart and mind. So, sit back, relax, and let the mellifluous words of William Shakespeare transport you to a world where love, passion, and profound introspection intertwine, creating a symphony of emotions that will resonate with you long after the last sonnet has been spoken. Enjoy the journey into the enchanting realm of Shakespeare's sonnets. Here is the full verses of Shakespeare's sonnet number 55, not marble nor the gilded monuments. Listen also to the summary and analysis of the sonnet. Not marble nor the gilded monuments of princes shall outlive this powerful rhyme. But you shall shine more bright in these contents, than unswept stone besmeared with sluttish time, when wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils root out the work of masonry. No mass his sword nor war's quick fire shall burn, the living record of your memory, gainst death and all oblivious enmity. Shall you pace forth, your praise shall still find room, even in the eyes of all posterity that wear this world out to the ending doom. So, till the judgment that yourself arise, you live in this, and dwell in lover's eyes. Summary Sonnet 55 celebrates the enduring power of poetry to immortalize the beloved's beauty and memory. The speaker begins by asserting that neither marble monuments nor gilded statues erected by princes will outlast the immortal power of this poem. The beloved's shine and memory will remain brighter within the verses of this poem than on neglected, unswept stones. That time has stained. The sonnet goes on to assert that even when destructive events like war or conflicts destroy statues and buildings, the poem will remain unharmed. Neither mass, the god of war, nor the fires of war can burn or obliterate the living record of the beloved's memory. The poem becomes a means of defying death and oblivion, ensuring that the beloved's praise will endure for all posterity. The speaker concludes by asserting that the beloved will live on in this poem, and the poem will reside in the eyes and hearts of lovers. The beloved's immortality is assured until the final judgment day, and they continue to exist in the verses and memories of those who love them. Analysis The Power of Poetry Sonnet 55 highlights the enduring power of poetry to immortalize the beloved and their memory. Marble and Monuments The poem contrasts the transitory nature of marble monuments and gilded statues erected by princes with the everlasting nature of the poem's praise. Comparison to Neglected Stones The speaker compares the beloved's shine within the poem to the beauty of the beloved being neglected and stained by the passage of time. Defiance of Destruction 
The poem asserts that even destructive events like war cannot harm or erase the living record of the beloved's memory preserved in the poem. Defying Death and Oblivion The poem becomes a means of defying death and oblivion, ensuring that the beloved's praise endures for all future generations. Living in Lover's Eyes the Beloved's immortality is achieved by living on within the poem and residing in the hearts and eyes of those who love them. Rhyme Scheme Sonnet 55 follows the traditional Shakespearean, or English, sonnet rhyme scheme, consisting of three quatrains, four line sections, followed by a rhymed couplet two lines. This structure allows for the development of the theme and argument in a systematic way. Themes The primary themes of Sonnet 55 include the immortality of poetry, the power of memory, the endurance of love, and the contrast between transitory physical monuments and lasting poetic praise. In conclusion, Sonnet 55 celebrates the enduring power of poetry to immortalize the beloved's beauty and memory. The poem contrasts the fleeting nature of physical monuments with the lasting impact of the poem. It asserts that the beloved's memory will survive even destructive events and that they will continue to exist in the hearts and eyes of lovers. Ultimately, the sonnet underscores the timeless nature of true love and the ability of poetry to preserve it for generations to come.